What is happening, my beautiful people? I'm starting the day in Abu Dhabi. I'm with my man, Najib. This is the regional brand manager of Hamilton. I'm actually doing something pretty crazy today. I'm hopping in one of the planes today with an actual pilot. Let's go see what's up. Najib over here has been telling me about this plane. So this thing goes up to 10G. 3G is basically a roller coaster. 5G is a Formula One race car. This goes up to 10G. Check out this hangar. Alright, so I'm in the dressing room. I gotta get ready, guys. I gotta get into my G Flight suit, if you know what I'm saying. You ready? Boom! Ready to go. Got my shades on, got my helmet, got my mic in case I need to tell the pilot, yo, bruh, I need you to go a little, a little bit faster. I need the G Force to be 12, baby. Anthony, Anthony. All the way from Lithuania, it's going down, man. He's taking me on the jet. What kind of plane is it? Extra 300 LX. Extra, extra 300 LX. How long you said? Just uh, 35. Just, 35, just yes. 35 years. I'm putting my life in your hands, huh? <laughs> Thank you so much. Catch you on the other side. I'll say it once, I'll say it twice. Much love. Good morning. I'll just set up in front of the hangar and request 60 and we'll be at six flights over the channel uh, possible. Uh, hold microphone closer to the mount. Okay, you can hear me? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Five. Please remove feet from uh, pedals and we go. Yeah! Uh, you hear me? Yes, I hear yeah, you. Yeah, very good. Just tell something because I don't know how you feel. Yeah, yeah, I feel great. Now I hear okay. you perfect. Oh, so, how you like it? Yo, this is insane. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Woo, that was ridiculous, guys. But I actually just made it to the St. Regis in Abu Dhabi. And I don't know if you guys seen the last video I did, but I've already been here and I just love this hotel, especially the view. Look at the view I got. Not only is it the sea view, and the most beautiful view in the whole hotel. But I got front row seats to the show, baby. Look at that. If I want, I can even hang out in the bathtub and watch the race. Check this out. All right, all right, we just got to the Sky Lounge and look who I found, my friend Natasha. <laughs> She's actually handling all the social media for Rivoli Group, which is who invited me. Rivoli Group invited Absolutely. me to this beautiful event. Thank you so much. Thank you. And now it's time for security. Okay, so uh, I wasn't able and to get here even inside her coaching position just as it gets to ready. Test out this new jet pack. Okay. 
All right, all right, all right. Look who I found, the Jetpack Man himself. Your name is David, right? Yep, David. David, David Mayman, Jetpack Aviation. That was you. That was yeah, that was me, there. that was me. I know, it's crazy. He promised me a ride soon, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Very nice to meet you. Okay, you Pleasure, too. pleasure to meet you. you too. See you soon. They're taking me to the pylon. It's a pylon tour. The pylon is basically the thing that the, the planes have to fly through and around. The pylon itself is 25 meter high. It's five meters in diameter at the bottom and about 75 centimeters at the top. The big gray noisy thing is what we call the charger. It's a petrol powered engine that keeps the airflow going inside the pylon at all times. On the race pressure, we use 12 millibars. So called flap. They're in the middle, okay? It's like a trapdoor. When I press a button, an electromagnet releases, the flap comes down. Okay. There's a step in the middle, use the step and your two hands to climb in. We have to do this as quick as possible, because once I open the flap, the pilot loses a lot of air, and it will start to move with, uh, with the wind. When we are on the inside, the ground of the pylon is a little bit bouncy, like a trampoline. It's not a trampoline though, so please don't start to jump around there. Just to keep you aware, it's not going to be solid ground like out here. Multitasking, baby. So qualifying has win. finally I'm begun. Cutting. But what I do know is that I went 6G today, and uh, <laughs> that's a new limit for me. Let's go! This pilot actually got some points in Tucker because he did over G, which means he went over 10G. I went 6G and I tripped out. I can't even imagine going over 10G. Next day on my little adventure. Yesterday was just sick. Anyway, we're back at the hangar today. We're walking around, checking out the hangars, checking out the jets, tucked all the pilots. Let's go, let's go check this place out. Alright, so guys, just a little fact of the day. Nikola Ivanov, I hope I'm saying it right, is the ambassador for Hamilton at this race, and that was his plane right there, his official plane that he always uses, that he's used to, but he damaged it during practice rounds on Wednesday. So now, unfortunately, he's using somebody else's plane. Let's go see if we can talk to some more pilots. To Pete McLeod, what is happening, man? Hey, I'm pretty good, Mo. I want to know how you do it because I just did this yesterday. I did this. You went for G flight? Yes. How much G did you pull? He told me six. Man, wow. Yeah. yeah. It was, uh, man. I got thrown out of the track for going over 12 yesterday. Yeah, I know. I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. So yeah, so you're getting there. You're halfway there. <laughs> I was, I was mentioning to you guys, if you go, if you go over G, which is uh, when you go too much G force, which is what he did. You did 12. Yeah, so we've got a limit out there where we can go over 10 but under 12 for up to 0.6 seconds. So that's like a lot of skill to kind of manage oh that. And God. then if you go over 12, like a speed limit. Don't no over G. Yeah. Don't over but G. But it's guys. fast if you're right against the limit. So we're always pushing right against it um, to be as fast as we can. Man, I want to know how do you feel doing this? Like this is your job every yeah, day. Yeah, that's what my office. So that's your... like it's, it, it's, it's fun, exciting, Ad but it's kind of normal. Adrenaline <laughs> 12 hours out of the day, yeah. man. Yeah. Whew, I wish I could do it. I respect, man. I All right. Hey, we'll thanks for coming by. Enjoy Good the race, man. Good luck.
Nicolas Ivanov. What plane do you uh, do you usually use? What plane exactly? It's a Boris the same as this one. It's a H540, but we modified the plane very a lot to make it uh, from uh, it's orbital plane to a race plane. Wow. This one I use today to kind of orbital plane only, not okay. really a race. Plane. What's the fastest? What's the fastest you've ever gone ever? The top speed is uh, more than 410 km per hour. What's the max G-force you've got? With this one, uh, 12 G. Respect that. That's amazing. Good job and good luck today, huh? Thank you. My guy, Pete McLeod, the guy I was chatting with earlier, is actually about to fly right now. Let's watch as he tears up the sky. Masterclass now. Guys, check out the semifinals. Erica just won Michael Gullion won the whole thing. Number one, baby. In the next that, event is so the nine. Oh, I love when I just teleport to places. I don't even know how I did it. I just next thing you know. I'm in Dubai. The past two days have been ridiculous. Thank you so much to Rivoli, to Hamilton, to Red Bull Air Race, the guy that who took me in the plane and the G flight experience. Big shout out to him for keeping me alive. I love you all. Thank you so much. But anyways, if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Press that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can get informed every time I drop a super lit video. I will catch you guys in the next video. Much love. Peace.